In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a WordPress site to Azure Application Insights. Hello, I'm Travis and this is Seraltos. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up Azure Application Insights and add a WordPress site for data collection. Before that, please take a second to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. I can also be found on Twitter where I post breaking Azure news daily. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. I have a lot of videos on log analytics. I'll add a link to the playlist someplace up here. I've been wanting to dig into Azure Application Insights for quite a while, but not being a developer, I had some problems coming up with sites to collect data on. That was until I discovered there was a WordPress plugin for Application Insights. I thought, hey, I have a WordPress blog. Maybe I can connect that to Application Insights. So that's where today's journey starts. Actually, it started a few days ago when I was testing all this stuff out, but you know, the camera wasn't rolling. There are several ways to get data into Application Insights. We're gonna use the WordPress plugin in this example. There's also an agent that can be installed on servers. Code can be added to the application during development, or it can be enabled on multiple Azure services like app service web hosting, for example. There is a downside to using the plugin. The plugin only accesses the WordPress site, so server performance data information is not available. It still provides some pretty useful information though. Okay, let's get started with the demo. I'm gonna start by creating an application inside workspace. The first five gigs of data going into application insight is free, at least for the East US. Check your region ver information to verify that's the same. Five gigs is a lot of data, especially for a small WordPress site like mine. All right, here I am in Azure. I'm going to first create an Application Insight workspace and then add the WordPress plugin to my WordPress blog. So let's start by going to create a new resource and I'm gonna add Application Insights. There it is. And then I'll click Create. Okay, so for this, I'm just gonna enter in something simple. Now for the application type, I'm going to select general. I've got the pay as you go subscription. I'm gonna create a new resource group. And I'm gonna select East US as the location. And I'll click create. Now if I go into my application insights, we'll give it a second to finish the deployment. And there it is. In the overview section of Application Insights, there's gonna be something called an instrumentation key. You'll need to copy that key and we'll need it for later use. For the next step, we're gonna go into the admin page of your WordPress site. I'm gonna show you two screen grabs from my Seraltis blog so I can hide out some of the information I don't wanna post on YouTube. I was gonna set up a temp WordPress site just for this demonstration, but it's so easy to add Application Insights to WordPress, I didn't see a need for it. If you want to give this a try, but you don't want to use it in a production site, or you don't have a production site, it's really easy to set up a free WordPress site in Azure. If setting up a free WordPress blog in Azure is something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. If I see a couple people interested, I'll demo that in my next video. Just put free WordPress if you're into the whole brevity thing. Okay, so here we are in WordPress, and you can see I'm going to add a plugin. And once that's added, I'll enable it and we go into the settings and you simply put that key we copied in the previous step right in and that's all there is to it. All right, back to the regularly scheduled demo. So I'm gonna actually use my Seraltos uh, App Insights page for this demo just to show you some of the data we can get. Uh, I have data collected on that so it's a little bit more relevant than the test we just set up. The first thing I'm gonna do is change this to, let's say 12 hours. I need to get a little more bit more data off from this. So here right away you can see I've got some pretty interesting information. I don't intend this to be a comprehensive overview of application insights. I'm probably not qualified to do that because I'm pretty new to this. But I will show you a few interesting points to look at that should help get started and you can explore further or keep tuned to my channel and I may have more things coming. Okay, so let's drill into the Feld requests. And you can see it over here in this pane, it goes to the failures. And I'm gonna go into this down here into all operations. 
and let's select this. So that's showing us what the 404s are. And if you look here, we can see that we're getting a lot of 404s looking for this Apple Touch icon. I did a search on this and I found that that is some Apple devices that are looking for an icon uh, and it's not there. So that's why I'm seeing that error. So right away, I can get rid of a lot of 404 errors on my site just by adding that little PNG icon file. Okay, let's go back. So if we go into server response time, we can get some performance data. I can change this from server to browser and we can start to see the duration on different directories or web pages on my site. Now I'm gonna go back into server requests. Here we can see a list of all the server requests. We can highlight sections if we want to. And browser. Let's go to unique users. And we're gonna view more insights. And if I go down here, I can see some pretty interesting information about what operating systems are being used, what browsers are being used. Here you can see the countries by region too. I get a lot of people from outside the US, especially people from India seem to subscribe to my YouTube channel a lot. I've added closed captioning on my YouTube channel to help with any dialect issues. Hopefully that helps everybody uh, enjoy those videos, even if English isn't your primary language. Thanks again if you did subscribe. Okay, I'm going to go back and show one other thing. If we go to availability, you can see there's no data. That's because I have not set up in a test yet. So I'm going to add a test. You can set up a simple ping test from up to 16 locations and a multi-step test using Visual Studio Web Performance Tests. Ping test is free and the multi-step is $10 a month per test. That's East US. The alerts you generate are not free, however, so check with basic pricing on that. So here we're going to create the test. And we're going to ping a URL. We'll just do my basic website. And I'm going to leave everything pretty much as is, five locations. Look at the success and we'll hit create. Now I can't give you any performance data on this unless I come back, but you get the point. After a couple hours, we should be able to see a availability test. And if that site is down, we should get a notification on that. So that's it for the demo. Applications Insights is a full feature monitoring and analytics tool. Using the WordPress plugin makes integration really easy, but there are some limits due to not being able to monitor the underlying server statistics, such as CPU and disk and database information. There are some similarities to like Google Analytics, but Google Analytics seems more traffic and user focused, while Application Insights seems to be more of a performance and application monitor. I'll continue to use both, but I'll turn to Application Insights for performance and troubleshooting information. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful or interesting, please subscribe, like, comment if you're feeling social, hit the bell icon so you can know when new videos are posted. Thanks again.